uh, do you realise you will actually be responsible for a boom economy in knitted lingerie? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It's always been a dream. Where the hell did that idea come from? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was actually an idea by Amy Jump, that was wasn't an it? Amy Which Jump is idea. Ben's wife, who he co-writes with quite often on a lot of his films. And I think she wanted to bring in a sort of visual element to the sex scenes and <laughs> and it came up with this sort of yeah especially knitted by a, a lady in yorkshire yeah very it, elderly way? lady who i think was yeah. quite shocked i don't know if she's very elderly she's you know older than aged her. yeah and um, <laughs> i think she never had to knit anything quite like that before you had to wear it how was it well i didn't there were two versions there was one with a one crotchless and one with a crotch and i said i'm not wearing the crotchless ones I'm wearing the ones with crotch. I said I'm so, wearing the crotchless ones. <laughs> yeah, Hand them over. Steve wore those. Where do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I was quite embarrassed on the day because the thing is that wool doesn't, it has no uplift, um, which, you know, as a lady, I'd rather have some underwiring involved. Yeah. But apart from that, I can't complain because, you know, the character, it was right for her. She's quite droopy generally, you know, like she wears the baggy jeans that have got very saggy. When we found those jeans, I was like, that's Tina. Yeah. Mum jeans. Mum jeans. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I think it, it fitted in to have little elasticity. Now, I can decide whether 